Hi everyone, it's Henry Purchase here and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up and connect Google Analytics to your Squarespace website and this is really important for a few reasons. First of all, Google Analytics is going to be able to provide you an overview of how people are using your website, where they're coming from and give you information about the kind of people that are visiting your website. And I believe this is super, super important because what's the point of having a beautiful website that you've either built yourself or paid a lot of money for only to not understand how people are using your website and ultimately how to improve it in order to get more people there and to get them to do the thing that you actually want them to do. And that's where Google Analytics comes in. Now, in order to get it connected to your Squarespace website, it's super, super easy. And I'm gonna sell it up for my website, SEO Space. We've just launched this new landing page and even though I have already got it connected, the steps are going to be exactly the same for you. All you're going to want to do is type in Google Analytics login into Google and click the first link. Now in general, sometimes Google Analytics is frustrating and it shows you different pages depending upon things it's pushing. As you can see, it's pushing a new attribution feature. All you want to do is press back and then ideally press back to analytics, after which you're going to see this screen. If you see something else and you don't have the options, go back to analytics. All I want you to do is head over to these four boxes here, click that and then click analytics. And that's going to take you to the exact same screen. It's going to take you to probably what you'll have as a demo account once you've logged in. So it's going to show you some sort of demo account here. And all I want you to do is set up a new account, which will take you through here, which all you need to do is head down to admin here. Then what I want you to do in the top is press create, then click account. And what I'm going to want you to do here, and this is super important because Google Analytics has updated things going into 2024. So make sure you follow these steps correctly. I want you to press create and then property. And essentially a property is almost imagine it's essentially a site which sits under your account. So you can have a number of different properties, which are essentially just websites that are added to an account. And all you're going to do here is go through and add the different details about your website so I'm just going to put SEO space then click business details so we've got a team of 15 now so I need to make sure I click that and then also industry category I'm going to check software nothing to do with software sometimes these are a bit of a pain marketing no so I'm just going to click internet and telecom to make things easy then obviously business objectives everyone ultimately wants to either get leads or sales through the website examine user behavior all that sort of stuff and then go to data collection and this is super important and this is where you're going to need to make Make sure that you understand where to go within your Squarespace dashboard. What I want you to do is click web. Then all you're going to do is get the URL of your website. So I'm just going to get SEO space here. Head back over to this bit. Obviously, I can remove the HTTPS because it's already got it here. And then on stream name, this is just going to be the name that you'll see on your Google Analytics account. So it doesn't really matter too much. And then just press create stream. And then you're going to get this web stream details pop up come through. Now, don't be put off by this because Google Analytics now to make things even easier even has this little installation instruction pop-up that comes through. So you can just go through, select your platform, go over to Squarespace, and it's actually gonna give you the instructions which makes things a lot easier. So if there's anything in this video that doesn't make sense and you wanna follow Google Analytics and what they recommend, just feel free to go ahead and follow these instructions. But I am gonna show now for you. What you wanna do is copy this code, head over to your Squarespace dashboard. Now Squarespace has been changed in their dashboard recently. So maybe if you're watching this towards the end of 2024 or even 2025, this is the method that's gonna allow you to find where to put this code, no matter what Squarespace does to its dashboard. So all you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the search bar and type in Google Analytics. And this is gonna take you to the external API keys. And what the external API keys is gonna allow you to do within this little box up here, it's gonna allow you to put in the code that you just copied from Google Analytics, which when you've done, you can press save and then return turn back to the Google Analytics dashboard, which once it's done, it is gonna take 24 to 48 hours in order for Google Analytics to pick up the connection on your Squarespace website. So don't worry at all because it can take a little bit of time. And the best way in order to test it, once you go back to your Google Analytics page, the way that I prefer to test it is if you go to here and just press real time and then actually go to your website and then actually open up your website in another tab. You're gonna see all of these dots across the world potentially from people that are visiting your website website and depending upon where you're from in the world you're going to see that there's someone visiting from your location so i'm in the uk i can see that i'm there and i can see that i'm getting data of real people that are coming to seo spaces website 
And there you are guys, that was a really quick run through of how to connect Google Analytics to your Squarespace website. Now, you're probably sitting there and thinking what to do next. Well, ultimately what you need to do is make sure that you're driving people to your Squarespace website, learning how they interact, and then ultimately improving over time. And what I want you to do in order to get a better idea of what people are doing is head over to reports, then I want you to go to engagement and then pages and screens. And essentially what this is gonna show, it's gonna show across all of the pages on your Squarespace website, how many views it's getting, the users, average engagement time, and other information. Even if you set up conversions, you'll be able to see conversions on there. Essentially a lot of the information you need to know when it comes to how people are using your website, which is gonna avail a lot of really helpful information because maybe people are using a web page you didn't think they were maybe people aren't viewing your website at all and they aren't clicking through this essentially gives you lots of information for example you can see here the engagement time maybe you see the engagement time on a certain page is much lower than the others well, that maybe tells you that you need to make sure that you invest more time into making that page better so people understand your business more I would recommend spending a lot of time going through Google Analytics and if you haven't already head over to SEO spaces YouTube channel where I've got videos about how to connect Google Search Console which is how you get your Squarespace website onto Google in the first place and lots of helpful tips in order to drive more organic to your Squarespace website. But in the meantime guys I hope this video has been helpful hopefully you're going to see that you've got lots of visitors coming to your website and hopefully you have a fantastic experience using Squarespace.